Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. There's a fine balance to be observed in all of these questions between freedom and security, and the national governments are well aware of the difficulty of that task. But in this resolution, the European Parliament has not observed any balance at all. It's come blundering through, motivated not by a proportionate reaction to an identified problem, but by a starting proposition that the United States is in the wrong. I think members have been watching that episode of Borgen too often, the one about the illegal transportation in Greenland, and they now imagine themselves being the good guys standing up for freedom against the wicked CIA. These are difficult, complicated questions, but it's not the CIA who are our enemies. <laughs> it wasn't they who planted the London tube bombs or the Atocha bombs. It's not they who have been uh, killing EU citizens. It is possible to have decent protections uh, for civil freedoms, for privacy, and at the same time to be allies of the democratic and free world in the defense of a way of life that is worth preserving.